Sometimes in life, what we see as a burden, stress, and the things to say, Oh God, why have thou forsaken me? is oftentimes turned out to be a blessing in disguise. At first, when her father left us, Claire was just an infant. And to tell you the truth, I didn't know where to start or who to run to for help. At the time, at that time, at that time I was I was neither working nor had any means of income. I thought of committing suicide. But then what becomes of the little child whose life and whole existence depends on me? I thought of leaving her with her father's family, but nobody can take care of your child like you. I thought of so many bad things I wanted to do then. How do I take care of this child alone? That fateful day, I locked us indoors. I was just thinking of what next to do. You know, I thought so very hard on what next to do. Should I just leave her in the church? Because my parents were totally out of it. Should I just leave her in the church? Should I just leave her with her aunt? What what should I do? What will I do with this infant all alone? Suddenly, it seems like I heard the voice saying, if you do not give up now, you will smile later. You know, just then I realized I've just consoled myself because there was no other person with, there was no other person with us in that room, apart from just me and my little baby. So I just realized I've just consoled myself, you know, because what every other person said to you at the time of at this at this kind of situation truly it doesn't matter except what you said to yourself i mean except the can except the advice you except the advice you give to yourself and today here we are two years later god opened so many doors of favor goodies luck happiness and so many of them for me Single-handedly, I can take care of my child like nobody's business. I provide every necessary things she needs to grow with. Unmerited favors has become the order of our days. You know, God has been so kind, I must tell you. And if you're watching me, or you, sorry, if you come across this video, if you're watching this video, it may not just be the case of being a single mom. It may not just be my own kind of case. It may be a related case, you know, maybe a related issue. You know, you're suffering for something or you're going through a hard time now. Why not sit back, relax? Just sit down, relax. Sit down, relax, my dear. All hope is not lost. Relax and watch God. Relax and watch him do his things. Relax and watch him do the things he's, he knows how to do at the 11th hour. Because I must tell you the truth, he alone has the final say. You say what? Eh? Yeah. Eh? What? Yes. <laughs> let's go inside. I should be going. Eh? Going. Look at this girl. I should be going. Leave your clothes now. Eh? Why are you dragging your clothes like that? Fast. Huh? That works. Nine. Nine words. No, it's not nine. 
So hi guys, good afternoon all. We've been in dust since morning, so we decided to come pick one or two things from the spa. Come, come, let's pass through. Give me your hand. So what do you want me to buy for you? Huh? For you. What do you want me to buy for you? For you. What now? Yes. You don't want anything? Yes. So I should not buy anything for you? So you guys headed 